We use the faucet several times a day. Lift the handle, water flows out. Push it down, the water stops. Turn it left or right, water adjusts temperature. But how exactly does a faucet control water flow? Let's take one apart and look inside. You'll find a key component called the cartridge connects to the control lever and the bottom has three small holes. Tilting the lever forward or backward adjusts the front hole, controlling how much water can enter. Rotating the handle left or right changes the side holes, which control hot and cold water. The control lever and handle are connected, so moving the handle also moves the cartridge. At the base, the two front holes are the inlets. One connects to the hot water pipe, the other to the cold water water pipe under the sink. The rear hole is the outlet, which channels the mixed water toward the faucet spout. Normally, both inlets are closed. When you lift the handle, the control lever shifts the cartridge, opening the water inlets. Hot and cold water mix together and exit through the outlet toward the spout. Turning the handle adjusts how much hot or cold water enters. Turn fully to one side, only hot water flows. Turn to other, only cold water. Keep it centered, you get a mix. At the faucet's tip is a small mesh device called aerator. It breaks the water into tiny streams and mixes in air. This makes the water flow look strong. It also helps prevent splashing.